Hello friends, welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. Wezi Nyanewa Sosola here, your usual host. If you are new to this channel, this is a place where I share with you some of the experiences I've gathered in life and the lessons I've drawn from them with the hope that someone may listen, be inspired and learn from these experiences. So today, guys, I just want us to share the word of God through the reading of the Bible. You know, the reading of the Bible, the importance cannot be overemphasized. These days, a lot of people are taking the reading of the word of God as an old-fashioned thing. They think it's no longer relevant. But I want to say to you today that the Bible is still relevant. The Bible still speaks to our lives. The Bible is still important, especially in this day and age, when there are so many competing priorities, when there are so many conflicting demands for our lives, just bombarding our lives left, right, and center, trying to capture our attention, trying to capture our time. So there are so many things that are demanding us these days, so such that if you are not careful, you would end up losing yourself. You would end up losing your sanity. You would end up getting stressed up. So for me, what I've found to be an effective way of managing my sanity in this day and age is just taking some, call it a long time, just reading the word of God and meditating on it. Meditating on the word of God, just as it says in the book of Joshua, that this book of the Lord should not depart from you. You have to meditate on it day and night. So you take the Bible, you read it, you meditate on the word of God. What is the word saying to my life? What is God saying to me? Just learning to listen from God, just learning to hear from him. At the same time, learning to speak to God, that bringing him the, your burdens, taking to him the desires of your heart, telling him your whole heart, praising him and worshiping him during this time. So that's what I've found to be so effective to me in this day and age uh, to in order to maintain my sanity, just reading his word and also meditating on it. So, I just if it this is uh, uh, if if it's new to you, I just want to kind of like start um, the whole process with you by reading the book of Hebrews chapter one, uh, starting with verse one. If you've got a Bible close by, or if you've got it in your phone, you can just go to Hebrews chapter one and read uh, chapter uh, chapter one with me, starting from verse one. God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophet, has in these last days spoken to us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty of on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels worship him. And of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? But to the son, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. 
They will perish, but you will remain. And they will grow old like a garment, like a cloak, you will fold them up. And they will be changed, but you are the same. And your years will not fail. But to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits, sent forth to minister for, the, for those who will inherit salvation? So those are the uh, words of God from the book of, um, that is the word from the book of Hebrews chapter 1. So as you can see, this is just like a starter pack for you. Uh, if you have not yet developed this habit of reading the word of God, this is just starts a starting point for you to know uh, what the word of God is saying, especially um, in this book of Hebrews. You can start anywhere else uh, in the New Testament reading the Bible just to understand what the word of God says about Jesus Christ that he has purged our sins. He has brought us our salvation, referring to him as God, the divinity of Jesus Christ. So it's very important to read the word of God. It's so refreshing. Apart from this, I can just bring also your, take your attention to some other verses that are talking about the importance of reading the word of God. Um, the book of uh, Psalm chapter 119 uh, verse 105 Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path Okay, That is David saying about the word of God So it's not only us who are seeing the importance of the word of God but things in olden days the king David also saw the importance of the word of God as he's testifying here that it is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. When you are walking, you want to see what is going on ahead of you, what is going on in the next step. You need to have a light to your feet and a lamp on your path. Psalm 119 verse 11. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. So, Hiding your word in your uh, the word of God in, in in your heart so that you may not sin against him because it reminds it reminds you actually you may say that I've got the spirit of God I've got the Holy Spirit in me why do I need to read the word of God if I've got the Holy Spirit in me but what I want to say to you is that the word of God is so important because it validates what the Holy Spirit is saying into your life. If the Holy Spirit is saying something, the word from the Bible, it validates that. Because there are some other people who may come with other different false doctrines. Maybe saying that the Spirit of God has spoken such and such to them. But if you read the word of God, if whatever they are saying to you contradicts with that, you would know that this is not the word of God. This is false. So it's so important to read the word of God. Lastly, I want to share with you. Uh, the book of uh, uh, the uh, verse from Psalm 119, verse 9, which is saying, How can a man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. How can a young man cleanse his way? way? By taking heed according to the word. So, you can cleanse your way by taking heed according to his word. Hide your, the word of God in your heart so that you might not sin against him. In the vernacular language, this is one of, was, was one of my favorite verses when I was young, growing up in Sunday school. All these actually were memory verses. And this verse was saying that, So, storing up the word of God deep down in our hearts so that we may not sin against him. And taking his word as a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. The importance of reading the word of God. Just re if you have stopped this, redeveloped this habit. If you have not done it before, just learn to have this habit of reading the word of God. In this day and age when it's so chaotic, learn to do this. It will help you as you forge ahead in your journey. If you are stressed up. Take that quiet time, alone time. Instead of using, doing yoga and uh, some other traditions, just meditate on the word of God because God is alive and he's going to speak.
to your heart if you give him the chance, if you give him time. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the like button. Thank you. God bless you. Be blessed.